Hi, it's Dr. William. I want to show you something that I'm seeing more and more and more frequently, and we're starting to see consequences of it, which are not good. And I wanted to show you here, and she's, she's allowed us to film here. So she's had a BBL. She's two weeks out from a BBL, but look what's going on. She's got an infection here. This is called cellulitis. This is an infection of the skin. So it's actually, if you look, you can see it's very, very red after I let go of my finger. You see that? And it's very swollen. And this is her groin in here. And she's very tender in here because she's got a lot of inflamed lymph nodes. Remember, the lymph nodes are where the battle is being fought between the bacteria and her own white blood cells that are fighting the infection. And so those lymph nodes get swollen and very painful. But the real question is, you know, why does she have cellulitis? Can you have cellulitis after liposuction? Absolutely. Can you get it after a BBL? No, no, no question. You can get it after any single operation. It's bacteria on the skin. We all have bacteria on the skin and it can contaminate and get inside the skin and then set up an infection. It doesn't happen very often when we do liposuction or a BBL or a breast dog. It can happen, but it doesn't happen very often. But I'm seeing it more frequently now. And why is that? Why are we getting more cases of patients with cellulitis with an infection in their skin after having liposuction? And this is the reason. Look at what's going on. So here is the incision from where I did the liposuction. But the trouble is she's going to and getting her massages and they're opening up the incision every time. Well, every time you open this incision, it creates an opening for the bacteria which are living everywhere. Bacteria are everywhere. It's normal. But now what happens is the bacteria here, they see a little opening. They're like, oh, that's good. There's, that's nice and warm in there. There's lots of good blood in there. That's good nutrition. I can set up my whole family right in here. And then they invite their cousins, their uncles, their nephews, and next thing you know, you've got this infection. So it usually we can control this pretty well, just using oral antibiotics. She just started them. Um, so it's gonna take a few days before things start to get better, but it's completely unnecessary to have this type of infection. And it's actually against the law for massage therapists to be opening these incisions because well, this infection is contained to the skin, that's a cellulitis. This infection can go deeper. You can get an abscess from this type of infection. It's not as common, but it's certainly possible. And something even more fearful is you can get a flesh-eating bacteria that can travel along the fascial, the fascial planes that, that fascias the lining of the muscles in our body and you can have a real serious, serious problem. So this is okay, we caught it early, she came in right away, we started her on antibiotics, and I'm sure that this is gonna be fine. I'm gonna check on her in a couple days after the antibiotics have had some time to work, and it should resolve. But the main point is, please, under no circumstance, allow your massage therapist to open up these incisions. It's just straight, downright dangerous. I leave the incisions open after surgery and they typically will close at 48 hours. They close, that's how your body's healing them. I'm fine if they close at 48 hours because you've had two or sometimes even three good massages and that's got rid of all that fluid. There's no more fluid to come out. The rest of the fluid will come out on its own. You'll pee it out. You don't need to keep opening the incisions and if you do, you can have a problem with cellulitis. So that's just something that, that to me I'm seeing more often and I'm hearing about it more often from patients telling me, oh yeah, they opened it up and it's just not necessary. Please don't do it. Um, it's, it's just dangerous. Thank you. Thank you so much.